What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today we have some breaking news in regards to the Black Ops 6 multiplayer trailer, a full beta reveal, plus even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and as a big reminder, there's been plenty of brand new article coverage going up on Detonated.com for those who want to stay up to date with all things Call of Duty. It was an absolute crazy week with the launch of Season 5 Reloaded and there's been a ton of Black Ops news to also report on, so I appreciate all your support on every single platform. But as a big reminder, I'll be live from Washington, D.C. later this week on August 28th with my official COD Next live stream. I'll be getting hands-on with multiplayer, Warzone, and even zombies. It's an absolute honor to be amongst one of the first people to get my hands fully on the Black Ops 6 experience. But if you want to be one of the first people to comment on my stream, I'm going to have that linked down below in this video's description. As a big update, when it comes to the Monster Energy promotion for Black Ops 6, some placeholder information seems to be up on the Black Ops 6 Monster page right now. I'll leave it linked down below for those interested to see this. But as it does say, went up to 30 in-game rewards. First three purchases receive double XP and the skin. First entry, an inner beast weapon blueprint plus 15 minutes of double XP. The second entry should be giving the beast operator skin plus 15 minutes of double XP. And the third entry should be the caught in the crosshairs weapon final plus some other XP as you'll see. But if you guys aren't familiar with the Mono Warfare 3 monster energy promotion, then you probably wouldn't have known that that's actually all the content that did release for the MW3 promo last year. So that's obviously placeholder for Black Ops 6 but maybe the offering is going to be relatively in the same ballpark to where you do get a couple of different rewards per entry and then maybe you'll get an operator skin, a blueprint, and a ton of other XP tokens. Once they reveal all the rewards, I'll keep you guys posted with a separate video. We're actually going to learn about that, I'd say, in the next week or whatnot since the promotion for Black Ops 6 does begin on September the 1st. But also as a reminder, for those that still don't have access to the Black Ops 6 beta, obviously you can pre-order to get a code, but if you're looking for another way to get your hands on a beta code, then Call of Duty's probably going to open up that page again really, really soon, and that page was actually active for a couple of hours last week, which gave out about 6,000 beta codes. They did this last year for Modern Warfare 3, and I believe also with the years prior. They'll end up giving out tens of thousands of free codes just for people out there that go ahead and log into their Activision account, select their region, select their platform, and they can get a code that way. So keep your eyes out for this page to open back up. Detonated will end up putting out a post on Twitter as soon as that does happen. I'll also be doing a giveaway pretty soon for the Black Ops 6 beta, I'll either be buying a big batch of codes myself, or I'll end up maybe receiving a couple of codes from Activision over at COD Next, which I know that happened last year, so regardless, I'll probably end up having a bunch of codes that will be given away via the Nightbot giveaway on stream, I'll give some away on Twitter, and here in some different YouTube videos. But if you're a legible customer with Xfinity, you can also go to your Xfinity Rewards page once you log in, and you can actually claim at least one free code for Black Ops 6. Unidays also announced that if you're a student in university, within the UK or other parts of Europe. You can also log in to your university account to claim one free beta code as well. So I'll keep you guys posted if any other methods do get revealed for the Black Ops 6 beta. But also to clarify, the launch of Season 5 Reloaded was pretty hectic, especially for those on PlayStation. So if you were on Battle.net, then you guys were probably aware that a preload that was about 100 gigabytes did go live several days before the launch of the midseason. But if you were on PlayStation, you only had about a 20 gig preload. And then once the mid-season began, a bunch of other packs needed to be downloaded, right? When you downloaded that 25 gig update, all that did was help shrink the overall size of Mono Warfare 3 and COD HQ, but it uninstalled Mono Warfare 3 in the process, so when the reloaded update came out, you had to then reinstall your multiplayer and zombie packs to go ahead and play. Now, I know that's probably confusing, but what that update also did is it separated Warzone from the premium experience to also help people out with their big download. Now, if you were on any other platform like Battle.net or Steam, all you had to worry about was one big 80 to 100 gig update that kind of solved all these problems for you. It didn't uninstall MW3, but it shrunk the overall size of COD HQ and prepares your launcher for the Black Ops 6 beta download, which is going to be next week. It seems like on PS5, people are also getting questions as to whether or not they want to reinstall MW3 or just install the Black Ops 6 content, which is very important for next week's preload. Xbox already confirmed the preload for the beta should be on August 28th, so probably a couple of hours after COD Next, and I'd assume the preload's probably also going to drop shortly after that for other platforms about a day or two before the beta actually begins on August 30th. It's been confirmed too that Xbox is joining PlayStation with getting those early preloads for brand new Call of Duty content, whether it's the full launch of the game or even the upcoming seasons. Now you guys are probably aware a schedule was also released in this blog post from Call of Duty as to when certain updates are coming out. They did warn us in that blog about this big 100 plus gig update, which was obviously for Shrinking Cod HQ and separating more 
Warzone from the main app, along with also providing Season 5 Reloaded content. We also know that the beta, of course, begins August 30th, but at some point in mid-October, presumably a little bit after Season 6 starts for MW3, but before the full launch of Black Ops 6, we're going to be seeing that full COD HQ overhaul, which looks just like this, as you can see, and that's going to really prepare your COD HQ launcher for the full launch of the game on October the 25th. So for those out there that were confused on everything going on with COD HQ, hopefully this makes things clear, and I do believe moving forward, things are going to be a lot simpler to understand and to download when it comes to the Call of Duty franchise. I just think with the way COD HQ was advertised with Modern Warfare 2, we didn't really get to see the true potential of COD HQ until now, so let's wait and see how everything works for the foreseeable future. Now the good news is, the multiplayer reveal trailer has officially been scheduled on the Call of Duty YouTube channel. The trailer is set to premiere live this Monday at 9am Central, which is also 10 o'clock Eastern. I'll actually be on a flight to DC at this time, so you won't see me on stream, but I'll probably have a little bit of a different stream going on at the same time, with maybe somebody else reacting to the trailer with you guys in chat, so I'll have to figure out those details, and I'll update you guys maybe on my Discord as to exactly what's going on there. But this is very similar to what happened last year. I actually had a video plan talking just about this, but hey, now they officially scheduled it. Last year, about a day or two before COD Next, and right before I flew out to LA for the MW3 COD Next event, the trailer did premiere on the Call of Duty YouTube channel. I managed to watch it before having to leave and hop on a plane, but this year things are a bit different, but either way, we're going to be getting a really cool reveal for Black Ops 6 multiplayer. It'll be depicting full HD gameplay on current gen hardware for our maps, weapons, operators, game modes. Really looking forward to this. They might even reveal what the rewards are for playing during weekends 1 and 2, but to build off what also happened last year, right after the multiplayer reveal trailer, we ended up getting some blog posts about first the gunsmith in MW3, and then a day after that, so right before COD Next, they put out a dedicated blog post about the maps and unlocks during the actual beta. Not the beta rewards, but the unlocks per each level while playing Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, and the day of COD Next, on October 6th last year, they ended up revealing what all the beta rewards included for weekends 1 and 2, so I would certainly expect marketing on this scale over the next couple of days before the COD Next broadcast on August the 28th, but they'll probably save some surprises for the actual stream as well, since the beta doesn't start until Friday, August 30th anyway. They got plenty of time to talk more about the beta at some point. Now, something worth going over is a video did leak over on Twitter that does depict all the operators for the Black Ops 6 beta. Again, you have two factions in multiplayer. You have Rogue Black Ops, and then you have Crimson 1. Not every operator that's in multiplayer will be playable during the beta, but quite a few of them are. So based on the leaked video, which I can't show you on screen for obvious copyright reasons, Rogue Black Ops includes Bayon, Nazir, Park, Adler, and even Marshall. So obviously you have to own the Vault Edition to play as Adler and Park, unless there are alternate skins for those characters that you can unlock during the beta. That's unclear right now. Those are at least skins you can use right away if you do purchase the $100 version of Black Ops 6. For the side Crimson 1, you're going to be looking at Bailey, Toro, Kane, Stone, Brutus, and even Klaus. Now I'm going to assume you probably can't play as Brutus or Klaus for free in any way, but if you purchase the Vault Edition, you'll be able to play as those zombie operators. Operators. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the Black Ops 6 multiplayer trailer premiering this Monday? How hyped are you guys for the actual reveal? How are you feeling about the operators you can play as, plus everything else we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everybody.